Okay, this is my uh, TI-92, not the bus, just the TI-92, although this will work with both. And uh, I have overclocked it. Um, sorry for this little fuzzy, this is on my uh, phone, so. But what I've done is, well, what you can do is uh, change the capacitor on the C11, which is located right to the uh, next to the CPU here. And what you can do is change the capacitor from a PF47 to a PF10. What I've done was put it on a switch so I can overclock it and restore it to its normal clock speed at any time. That, that way uh, it's not constantly using that overclock power. Uh, everyone asks me why would I do it. It, it helps with uh, speeding up graphing times and whatnot in the 3D graph mode. Um, it overclocks it from, it comes standard with a 10 megahertz processor, and it overclocks it to a uh, 18 to 20 megahertz. And what I've done is I've taken, this is the stock, oh, sorry, this is the, the stock 47 here, and what I've done is offset it so it's only on one pole, okay, and I've soldered the pole to the board, and uh, the other pole is on the wire here. And what I've done on this side is add a oh, sorry, uh, 40, or uh, I added the 10, PF10 up here, capacitor, onto the switch. And then return the lead to the other side of the pole that was on the, uh, uh, for, for the PF47 stock. That way uh, you can turn it off and on. And that's, it's an easy mod, anyway, freaking can do it. Um, I'm going to button this thing back up and show you the uh, speed difference between the two, and uh, I'll get right back to you. Okay, this is uh, the calculator all uh, put back together. Um, I currently have the leads running out the back right now temporarily. I'm going to actually put them on the back of the uh, of the battery case here, but uh, for right now, just do it. A quick little show how this works. Alright. Sorry about that. First thing that's very noticeable is the uh, menu system is much faster. Sir, that's that's the standard. Okay. Notice how, how slow that is. I'm just going to flip my switch here. And notice how it's just instantaneous now. It's just crazy fast. Now, here's the load time on a, uh, I'm just going to go to standard zoom to resume this, this graph. It's loading up. Okay, this is, this is standard. This is underclocked right now. This is just stock, okay? That's how, how long that's loaded. Now I'm going to switch it to overclock mode here. And it's Zoom standard again. And we'll refresh the thing. Notice how much faster that just loads up. And we are done. So, yeah. It's about twice as fast. Very, very, very nice. And uh, just makes everything just so quick. Just look at how fast those menus just pop right up and change. Easy, easiest thing to do. Costs like. Uh, a buck for the switch and a buck for the the capacitor, or actually it comes in a three pack. So, and and that's at a wholesale store. So, all right. Uh, again, uh, this will work for the TI eighty three, the TI eighty nine, the TI ninety twos. Um, I believe it works on some other ones. You just have to know which uh, capacitor to change. So it's a very uh, Universal for the the T, uh, Texas Instruments uh, older calculator for some quick extra speed. Uh, I recommend using the uh, switch though for your games and whatnot. They'll run too fast. But other than that, this uh, runs just freaking peachy. Uh, there's it loading one more time for you. Just all done. All right, this is uh, Dragon signing off. Thanks.